Upon completion, the East African crude oil pipeline ECOP from Hoima district in Uganda to Tanga port in Tanzania will be the longest heated pipeline in the world, stretching over 1,400 kilometers. The, the density of the population in Tanzania is a little less than in Uganda, in fact. We have a, a longer length of pipeline and we have 1,100 and uh, and 47 kilometers in Tanzania and 297 in Uganda but we have roughly twice as so it's maybe four times as long but we only have maybe twice as many households who we who we impact so you can see the density is of the of the population is, is along the route is lower in Tanzania than in Uganda the project is expected to have a major impact on socio-economic development geostrategic dynamics, create job opportunities, yield revenue for Uganda and Tanzania, and promote regional trade. Today, therefore, is a triple victory for Tanzania and Uganda. <clears throat> Ushindi wa maratatu. Number one, military. Kukumbuka. Number two, political, because the military could not go without political cooperation with Marim. And number three, now economic. Apart from socioeconomic benefits, the project will also stimulate trade, investment, as well as unlocking the East Africa's oil potential, thus attracting more investors. More importantly, this project will strengthen strategic partnership and cooperation between our two brotherly countries and in, in addition it will forge further the regional integration and people's interaction. Downstream and midstream oil and gas agreements recently signed by the heads of state of Uganda and Tanzania and the joint venture partners kick-started the most capital-intensive phase of oil production. On the 13th September, the two presidents met in Chato and gave us instructions to complete everything that had not yet been completed. I would like to inform you that the instructions you gave have been executed. I am relaying this information to President Museveni and President Samia Suluhu on behalf of the team of experts. So after today, I will now be ready to table a bill which we call the East African Crude Oil Pipeline Bill for the government of Uganda. We are already ready with the draft and we are only waiting for the HGA to be signed. I would also request my counterpart in Tanzania that you expedite the process of preparing a similar bill so that we can harmonize the processes. It's confirmed that the first phase of the construction of the electricity heated oil pipeline will start from Tanga, Tanzania. The decision made is purely industrial, says Martin Tiffen, the ECOP manager. As it happens, the first activities for the pipeline will probably be in Tanzania, but that's an industrial efficient execution logic. It's not, a, we're, we're not politicians, so we're, we're trying to build a pipeline uh, in, in the most responsible and efficient way possible. Now, the fact that uh, most of the pipeline is in Tanzania might mean that the first work might be in Tanzania, but that has nothing to do with which country to start from. It's about efficiency of project delivery. With this development comes a massive investment opportunity, not only in Uganda, but Tanzania too. Logistics and transport top the beneficiary sectors as well as the hotel and hospitality industry. We've done a logistics survey for the pipeline because the pipeline, the pipes will be arriving at Tanga. We will use the central corridor substantially. Local content provision in the eco project is assured for partner countries. However, capacity building is emphasized in order to meet the expectations of the implementers. Because sustainable development is first and foremost a matter of people, people and local population and, of course, of local content of the projects. Uh, I think we will have an objective that at least 20% of all spendings will be spent locally uh, and there is a lot of be done and if we can do more I can ensure Mr. President, Mrs. President that we will do it for the benefit of all the pop of your population, your citizens and your countries.
Uganda discovered petroleum and gas in 2006. However, due to the divergent perceptions between government of Uganda and oil companies, it will take about two decades for the first oil to reach the international market. Denis Igoa for UBC News.